Welcome back to Wasteland 3. So, we are now in downtown Colorado Springs and we will be doing Cornered Rats. That should be interesting. So, we need to find Sheriff Daisy and have a chat. And yeah, we will get some specialists as part of helping Sheriff Daisy, I guess. So, let's go and have a chat. This kid's going in the pillories next. What's going on here? I mean, I know what's going on because I've done this part in the beta. The teenage prisoner is gaunt and pale. His hair is tousled and greasy. His face angular with hunger. He stares at the pillories with dread, swallowing occasionally. He sees you staring at him and snaps back to reality. Sorry, I, I, didn't, I didn't mean to ignore you. Just got a lot. A lot on my mind. Do you? How did you get in trouble with the marshals? Real big mistake. See, the Plains gangs chased my mom and me off our land. We lost everything. Heard this was a place of God-fearing people and thought they'd do right by us. People here kept us out in the cold, letting us starve to death while they sat inside, warm and fed. Then the Dorseys came and gave me some food and some kindness and Asked me to do some vandalism. Uh, no, music shouldn't be a problem. I actually asked, uh, like the community manager I've been talking with. Figured what was the harm? I never killed no one, but I did bust some windows. Marshals caught me doing it, and they said I was working with the Dorseys. Magistrate agreed, so here I am. Mom would have talked me out of it. Talk to her first. Go to daring escape plan. What's your sentence? I mean, it's pretty obvious what it is. Magistrate tells me it's death. They're gonna strip me down, and tie me to those things, and they're gonna let the cold do its work. Wonder if it'll hurt. Wish I could tell you it won't, kid, but that'd be a lie. Go to daring escape plan. No. I was never known desperado. Don't rightly know why I let myself get caught up in this. I mean, it's probably better to get shot than this. But if I'm to die, I'd at least like to do that right. I'm gonna do that like a man. Why'd you do it? We were starving. No two ways about it. We were going to die. Dorsey's gave us food. I figured a few windows was a worthwhile trade for the bread and meat that saved our lives. Doesn't sound like the punishment fits the crime. I thought it was too harsh, but what happens if I speak up now? Will they come after my mom? I can't take the chance. Let's say we can free you. What's that worth to you? Magistrate's a hard man. I wish I could believe it at work. I'd do anything for someone who could get me free without hurting anybody in the process. Guess I don't have any money to give you, but I I'd pay you back in hard work, if you'll have me. Do you have any useful skills? I used to hard work around the homestead, and I ain't too bad with a gun either. My folks made sure I could hunt and fight. I always dreamed of coming to the big city and being a newspaper man. You know, interviewing people, telling the truth about how things really are. Sure didn't turn out like I hoped. Nice talking to you. All right. So let's have a chat with the magistrate. Howdy, Judge. How's your heart? Still colder than a well digger's ass? Marshal Kwan. Impertinent as ever, I see. Rangers, I am Magistrate Silas Watkins. I have heard of your arrival, partly from the confessions of the Dorsey Raiders. You'll be pleased to know that I sentenced them to death for their part in the attack on the city and your convoy. What's with the pillories? They are the only instrument of justice we need. Serious offenders die by exposure. Sometimes I might grant a reprieve after... Frostbiters claim their extremities. 
sounds gnarly. Death by exposure seems harsh. Do you have any other punishments here? For some offenses, we have a work camp on the plains. I don't approve of their methods, but it's outside my jurisdiction. Wait, you mean their methods are better or worse than yours? <laughs> because I can't Minor tell. infractions like public drunkenness or disorderly conduct are punished by a short stay in the sheriff's lockup. Okay. Well, death by exposure seems harsh. Oh, to the contrary. It is more merciful than the punishments meted out by the mountain clans or the gangs of the plains. If we did any less, they would see our nation as weak. And in Colorado, weakness is death. So I see. As much as we might long for the world before the bombs, when justice was not so cruel, that is not the world we inhabit. And let's be honest, Judge. You kind of like it too, don't you? No, I do not. I only do what the law commands. Uh-huh, yeah, whatever you say. And since you're the law around here, I guess you're your own boss. I follow principles set forth at the second founding of this city, as you know very well. Without our laws and the penalties to enforce them, we're no better than the wastelanders. Well, let's talk about Proceed. something else. So let's talk about Austin. His crimes are still severe. He was part of the Dorsey uprising. He caused significant property damage. His actions diverted marshals from responding to reports of attacks, magnifying the harm the Dorses were able to inflict. Argue a case, and I might show leniency. Okay. Well, we don't have foreign kisses. What if the rangers were to pay for the damages? Yeah, I think that's basically what I'll have to do if I want him. Mercy. I do not see the word in my law books. The Patriarch has charged me to dispense justice, not mercy. All right. You wish to compensate the city and the owners of the damaged properties for their losses. I can facilitate that. That's the price in Colorado dollars. 200? Uh, I'm not sure how much we have right now, but why the heck not? Oh, uh, 186? This is irregular. Okay, it well, is within my we did it. To grant you full custody of Austin Peace. Any further infractions he may commit are the Ranger's responsibility. I was feeling I generous. I recommend keeping him out of trouble. You should inform the boy. Best he hears the good news from you. Yeah, your ass is mine now. We'll have our revenge. Uh, so hold on, let me check our inventory. Yeah, I think I paid like basically everything I had. <laughs> well, he better be worth it. Yeah, your ass is mine now. Not looking forward to what comes next. What? Are you serious? Y you really saved my life and, and I get to be a ranger? Well, no, no, no. Let's not get that far. As soon as they let me free, I'm going straight to your headquarters. I'll do whatever you need me to do. Clean guns, scrub toilets, you name it. Thank you. Say thank you. Thank you. All right, then. We'll have our revenge. So let's go and have a chat Goodbye. with the sheriff. In here. Marshals, finally. I was beginning to think you were never going to help. Hold on now. You aren't marshals. You look like ruffians. Are you here to see the sheriff? Well, I'm first. She's I've picky, been isn't here she? Tenter hooks for an hour. This is the only kind of help you're getting. Are you always this rude? I'm sorry. I was raised better than that. It's just. I am under considerable duress. 
My family has been kidnapped by those no-good Dorseys, and... And the Marshals will give me no answers about their situation. They won't even speak to me. I must know how the Sheriff intends to rescue them. And when. <laughs> or maybe if. The Marshals seem a little bit overwhelmed at the moment. That may be. But my family is one of the leading families of Colorado Springs. We have been longtime allies of the Patriarch and supporters of all he stands for. Surely that should be given some consideration. Who are you anyway? <laughs> My name is Lucia Wesson, daughter of Percival Wesson and Maria Reyes of the Hundred Families. And why should we care? But now they and my little brother have been kidnapped by those good for nothing Dorseys and. Yeah, yeah, you said I that part already. Lives. Is there anyone here who you think should get less consideration than you? <laughs> suppose not. We are all equal in the eyes of God, as they say. I am just frustrated. That is all. It doesn't seem that anything is being done. Well, hey, we're here now, so something is being done. What exactly is going on here? Someone let the Dorseys into town, and the savages have taken my family hostage, along with a good many others, and retreated to the Garden of the Gods. I came here to demand that Sheriff Daisy immediately mount an expedition to save them, but her marshals keep putting me off. Demand? I mean, I can't imagine why they are putting it off. Can't possibly think of a reason if you came in here and demanded it. So, can you tell us more about the Hundred Families? We are the founding families of Colorado Springs descended from the survivalists who came together after the deluge of fire and helped the patriarch build a stronger Colorado. I'm proud to trace my lineage back before the war on both sides of my family. Okay, yeah, whatever. We're the Arizona Rangers. We could help you. Well, you look capable enough, but I don't know you from Adam. Why, you might be robbers or bandits. No. Thanks all the same, but I think I'll continue to wait on the proper authorities. You might be waiting for a while. Sheriff Daisy, I will not leave until you speak to me. Garden. Dorsey said right past the ones we've got. Miss West, Miss Wesson, could you? I'm sorry. I have to talk to these folks. Sorry about that. Are you the Rangers? We were told to expect you. Sheriff Daisy is waiting for you. Yes, we are. Anytime, Marshal Kwan. <laughs> Don't blink. Okay, well, let's go have a chat with the sheriff then. Be sure to fill out a form. Well, now you must be the Rangers. I'm the sheriff around here, but you can call me Daisy. Old Saul tells me you're a bunch of badasses, and I ain't one to turn away a badass, especially at a time like this. I mean, we have a bear, so I think that counts as a badass. I reckon you already heard all about the Dorsey raid, so I won't bore you with the details. Suffice it to say, we whooped them good, and the survivors are holed up in the Garden of the Gods with a bunch of hostages. Thing is, I lost a lot of marshals. My boys and girls are tired and beat up. You want to make some fast friends around here? You could go into the garden and speak to those Dorseys for us. Maybe find out how the hell they got into the city in the first place. Speak? You mean with bullets? And by speak, you mean shoot the everlasting shit out of them and save those hostages, right, boss? Quan, I hear you're some fancy liaison now. Old Saul taking my people without even asking? How dare he? Anyway, yes, you rascal. That's exactly what I mean. But question him first, you hear? Ma'am, yes, ma'am. So, Lucia Weston wants to talk to you about rescuing her family from the Dorseys. That girl? You think I ain't heard her yet? <laughs> But I got a couple of 50 other people yapping at me, too. Tell you what, though. 
Her people are hundred family folks from the fancy side of town, so they got some pull. You can do me a big favor and kill two birds with one stone if you take little Miss Wesson with you when you go to save them. In fact, I'm going to insist on it. I need that girl out of my hair. I'll let Lipinski know you're bringing her along. He won't let you into the garden without her. Don't worry. She knows which end of the gun the bullets come out of. Go in there and kick some ass, Rangers. All right then. So, uh, let's go kick some ass. Hmm. I'm not sure why the sheriff didn't assign me marshals, but well, beggars can't be choosers. I am the Miss Wesson she spoke of. Lucia Wesson, daughter of Percival Wesson and Maria Reyes of the Hundred Family. Yeah, yeah, whatever. As Sheriff Daisy told you, they and some of our neighbors were taken hostage by the Dorseys, and I mean to free them. All of them. What do you so, mean, you? I am ready when you are. What is this Garden of the Gods? Sheriff Daisy didn't say. It's a project of the Ward family, a showcase for their know how. They grow food there using the latest technologies. Colorado Springs leads the world in science. But there are plenty of places. I mean, to there's hide not much of the world left, the I'm just saying. Laying for us anywhere. We shall have to be cautious. So let's talk about your combat experience. Certainly. My father taught me to shoot almost before I could walk, and I'm the best shot in the city. Oh, it's true. She's a prodigy, all right. Also a pain in the ass. But have you ever killed anyone? I... No. But I have hunted. There's no need to worry that I will be shy about pulling the trigger. I promise, strangers, if it is to save my family, I will not hesitate. Alright, we'll see about that. Are you sure you don't want to leave this to professionals? I know very little about you, strangers. And even if I trusted you as I would a friend, it is still my family who the Dorseys threaten. I must go. All right, all right, sure. Let's go then. At last. <coughs> okay, so let's see. What do you have here? Revolver, a pretty decent one. Okay, five in small arms. All right, all right. Let's go then. So now we have a full group, a very full group. I think we're going in this direction. In fact, there's a map. Uh, right. There are probably some dodds I could talk with. But let's go where we need to go. I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of things to do in this place. By order of the Patriarch, only authorized personnel are to pass this gate. Well, we are authorized personnel, aren't we? An invitation from the head of a family or authorization from the I think this is like the wrong until gate. You have that, uh, the attack on the city has everyone nervous. Until that's all, Rodmore Heights and the Patriarch's Palace. Okay, so this is like the wrong gate. All right, all right. I think it's this way. Why else would I even Garden of the Gods is just north of Wait, what's up with these people? On, you Dorsey peckerheads, get on out of there. Hush up now, Josiah. You can't go in there alone. They'll kill you. You think I can't handle myself? I've put down worse than these in my time. Now, since when? You've been a shopkeeper all your life. Will you help me talk some sense into this old fool? If he goes after those Dorseys, he'll get himself killed. Okay. Look, why don't you let us professionals handle this? Thank you. Keep an old man from killing himself, will you? Killing myself? Can't you pretend to have some faith in me, Martha? Especially in front of these soldier types? You do this, you'll get a nice discount at the shop. Assuming I still have a shop by the time it's all over. <laughs> I mean, if you're dead, what good is your discount, you know? Okay, well, he's staying. This here's Market Square. Oh, uh, there's an actual the shop here from the looks of it. Give me Bob, still staying. New faces. 
We could sell all the junk we got. I hear there's still some Dorsey's in the city. Oh, that's my prized possession. A genuine pre-apocalypse, fully functional microwave. I can cook up okay. truly Okay, let's trade. I have like a lot of junk. So... Okay, yeah, sell junk with one click. We'll do that. Done. Uh, I don't think I'm going to sell anything else just yet. No, just the junk. So that gives us 234. So basically already got more than we paid for that guy. You know, the one we rescued. Okay, are we even going in the right direction? Uh, yep, this way. So let's just go this way then. Another store? Better stay back from my stall. Those goddamn Dorsey's drugs. Oh, a landmine. Well, we'll see what we can do. Yeah, it only requires one point, so no problem. Wish I could get these flipper and marshals to take care of the dang bomb under my We already skull. did. Calm down. Really? That's yes, great. really. All right then. Oh, this looks fancy. Are we going in the right direction? Uh, sort of. Wait, we are here, right? So we are not going in the right direction. How the heck do we get there? I think that's the gate. Yep, that's the one. some new arrivals wash on in military types they said can't really see the difference between you and the ordinary class of mercs so much as i'd love to shoot the shit with you tryhards sheriff daisy said to let you go on in so go on give them dorsey some hell marshal lupinski i expect you to moderate your language in the presence of a young lady <laughs> my apologies I meant no disrespect. Best of luck to you and your companions here. All right, let's no go. For amateurs in this town. Uh, let's here, quick save, just no in case. Room. All right, we're going. Hello, whoever just came up from the city, come in. This is Bellamy. Dorsey's all over the garden. I pin down on a high ledge. Can, can you reach me? Probably. No promises, but we're planning to kill every Dorsey we can find. Oh, thank God. I'll call out if I see you. As long as it's safe. Hey! You on the ledge! Hands up! Oh no. <laughs> they found me. <laughs> She's about to have a bad time. All right, let's go save his ass. Should be right around here. Yep, already see a few dudes. Fire! Hey, where did you come from? You back the hell off, or you're dead. Oh, calm down. Let's talk this out like adults. Yeah, we're not going anywhere. But this option is kind of hilarious. Uh-huh. All right, then. Yeah, I think I could have sneaked up on them. But too late for that. Okay, so we have options. Let's see. I need to think about this one. We have that flamethrower. But that won't actually kill them. Uh, also, yeah, a friendly fire makes me a little bit nervous. <laughs> Spreading out might not be a bad idea. Let's spread out a little bit. 
might also be a good idea to heal up Fox or move him into some kind of cover. But for now, I just want to spread out a little bit. That's our sniper right here. She can be slightly further in the back. <laughs> Animal Whisper should work on those chickens. Yeah, probably. We can also move into cover. Might not be a bad idea. There you go. Okay, let's take a shot. Marshall. Okay, only four APs. Three APs to fire the revolver. Seriously, you missed from this close? Aren't you supposed to be some kind of like badass gunslinger? And you missed literally from point blank range with a 95%? What the heck is this? XCOM? Okay, well, you're fired, by the way. Well then. That was a disappointment. Let's see. Yeah, I wouldn't mind killing a few more of them. 86%. That chicken is kind of hilarious. Okay, nice one. At least our sniper didn't miss. Fifty percent? Okay. We got exactly four action points. I would prefer to move. Like, I already would. Now, this will be a kill for sure. But that's six APs. Fox can also take a shot. Yeah, Fox should really move into cover. That's what I'm thinking. So we only got the one guy in the back. This one. Uh, well, no. One more over here. So Fox is the only person who, who can still take a shot. But if I take a shot, I will not be able to move. And there's a decent chance he will get killed by that hunter. So... I think it's best to move into cover. Technically, like, this guy can still attack him, though. We'll take a shot. Okay, hopefully I'm not going to regret that. Let's find out. Okay, he's bleeding, but he's fine. There are still a few more in the back. Now we should definitely, like, heal ourselves up. There you go. Okay. So, let's move into cover. That chicken is cracking me up. Nice one. But I'm not going to forget that maze. What's the range on the sniper? Pretty good. I might even be in range. Yep, almost. Okay, not quite. It'll have to wait one more turn. Uh, let's defend. Because she lost quite a bit of health. A fox needs to move into cover. I don't think I can kill him on this turn, unless I get really lucky. Usable in combat or exploration. Take him down clean, a reliable attack that has plus 20% hit chance, but minus 100% critical chance, and minus 33% damage. Puncturing shot. Fired an assault rifle. More damage versus stunned targets. Okay, well, right now we are out of range anyway. 
Uh, let's actually use ambush in case he tries to move towards us or something like that. Yeah, and I should actually check out all these extra skills that we have. Yeah, that's just charm animal. Still not close enough. Yep, that was quite a bit of damage. Let's heal that up. Now we should be able to kill him. 47%. That's a little bit low, but... Uh, let's take a shot. Yeah, nice one! That's what I'm talking about. That's a proper sniper shot. So, that's the guy. Did the Patriarch send you? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I need to warn you. The Dorseys are gathering up ahead between the Gateway Rocks. Bellamy! Bellamy, look at me! Have you seen my family? Are they here? Lucia? I... I thought you were with your family. Oh, thank God you're not. Thank God. They went up ahead with their hostages, but... Lucia, I heard gunfire and screaming. You need to be ready for the worst. If they've done anything to my people, I'm going to end them all. Please do. I'll tell whatever I can to help. It's not much, but... Okay, so... Where are the hostages? I think they took everyone to their camp, just past the Gateway Rocks. What about my family, Bell? Last I saw them, they were all right. They were scared and a little banged up, but... They were still alive. My life. Can we load I this? Forget it. Yeah, we can. Let's go get that. Uh, first, we'll load the corpses. Looks like that's mostly junk. Okay, almost entirely junk. Uh, somebody's bleeding here. Who the heck is bleeding? I don't think anyone is bleeding. Okay, more junk. Assault rifle. Uh, yeah, that's not better than what I have, but we can always, like, dismantle it for some junk or other scrap. Okay, let's move on, shall we? I think there might be a trap around here. It looks kind of suspicious. No, it's fine. Okay, it's fine. Medical crate. Okay, do we want to heal up before we move on? I mean, this might be okay. Let's save. Yeah, but there's a trap. And we leveled up, nice. Yeah, because when you level up, you heal yourself automatically. That's what I'm counting on. A few people should be pretty close to a level up. And let's check up bear right away. So we can get attributes. So I could get four strength for him. Oh, we got a perk point. Nice. Let's see what we can get. Learning perks. Starting at level four, your rangers will earn a perk point every other level. Perk points are used to unlock powerful abilities and passive bonuses. Perks become available to learn as you upgrade your skills. Okay, then... Explosives. There's a famous two-step defense against oncoming fireballs, and no one actually does it. Wait, what? Okay. Fire resistance, explosive resistance. Okay, here we can see some requirements. Big guns, pressure cooker. Suppressing fire. Okay, that might be useful. Let me check that out. A heavy MG attack that consumes twice as many bullets. Enemies in the area take minor damage and are suppressed. 
losing minus 0.8 combat speed and a minus 20% hit chance for two turns. Deals plus 300% damage versus demoralized targets. Damage 100% of weapon damage. Okay, that sounds really useful. What else? Yeah, I think we should get that. That sounds really, really useful. Let's get that. Yeah, definitely. That sounds useful for sure. Okay, let me check the armor we got in our inventory still. Yeah, so these require 5 strength. Which means, even if I give him plus 1, he will still only have 4. So that might not be the best use of our attribute right now. But it might not be a bad one. Speed for some combat speed. I mean, it could always get coordination. With two more coordination points, we would get yet another action point. Which would be useful for him because his weapons require more APs to actually, you know, fire them. Let's go for coordination. And then we got skills, so three more skill points. Should probably get Animal Whisperer. I mean, since I already spent some points on it. We had one more person with that, right? I thought we did. No, we didn't. Just him. Okay, so let's get at least one more point. I would say probably one more point in lockpicking on this point. Or one more point in big guns, because that will cost me two skill points. Yep. Okay, this is fine. Let's move on. There should be some extra stuff in here. Oh, and there's a cut. Oh, I don't have... Wait, we don't have two points in mechanics? Yeah, we do. I had a single person selected, not the entire party. There we go. Here, kitty kitty. Yay! We got a cat. Meow. Well, that's all for now. We got ourselves a cat. Junk. Oh, armor mod. Nice. The cat is a good tank. Wait, really? Okay. So it's a battle cat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dumb, right? Right. Uh, this is Bellamy Ward. Cal operational test number. Uh, Ooh. 110. That I looks nice. Okay, okay. That looks pretty good. Requires one weird science. Wait, what? Frozen ferret launcher? What the heck? What? Ammo type frozen ferrets. Okay. <laughs> Is it animal cruelty if they're already dead? Okay, that is weird. And we got a skill book. Permanently increases brawling. Well, I don't have anyone with melee weapons currently, so let's keep that for the future. Yeah, that was kind of weird. We got the ferret launcher. Yeah, I like the humor in this game. Yeah, I don't think we have the skills to do anything about the safe. Requires power.
it's leading like into the mountain or something like that power connection okay i think it's time to move on maybe disarm that frag mine oh you need to stand on the pad right yeah there's a pad a super obvious one Wait, what? Create a new character? You are assigned an avatar of a cob of corn. What the heck? Nerd stuff. Uh, I don't think I have free on anyone. Hold on, do I? Uh, this guy. Wait, who had nerd stuff? Oh, Fox! Yeah, he only has one point in that, so that is not enough. Yeah, what the heck is this? That's weird. So what about the safe? I'm standing on the pad. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything with the safe. It seems to be getting power from somewhere else entirely. Not from here anyway. Okay, let's move on. I think we spent enough time in this little corner. We still got some frag mines over here. Uh, these are disarmed. Yeah, I probably need higher nerd stuff to hug the computer. Sounds about right. Oh hey, we got Fox. Must be an imposter. We already have a Fox. Was there something over here? Yep. I think I saw a trap. Pretty sure I saw a trap. But maybe not. I think that just indicated like a secret entrance or something. You know, Miss Wesley, the marshals could always do with new blood. I thought you only took people who were a bit more crooked, like. <laughs> we don't discriminate. We got the a shrink grenade. What? Throw to bring someone down a peg. Okay, that's pretty funny. And a creepy doll. Plus one perception. Oh, plus one perception is nice. King Karen. Yeah, this game is hilarious. Hi. Uh, that is a little bit of health. Uh, do we attack them? Yeah, I think so. Hold on, let's open with the machine gun. Eh, could have been better, but I'll take it. Have your cat attack them? Yeah, I don't think that would be a great idea. So, yeah, I don't have torrent strike ready yet. Uh, not enough AP, fair enough. This could get interesting. Okay, good. Come on, kill the big one. That is out of range. Oh, uh, my cat is blocking the way, and I can't actually like move the cat. Okay, that's a bit of a problem. And I can't move Fox anymore. He has zero AP left. This is slightly awkward. I guess we'll use ambush then. Just don't shoot my own people in the back. That would be highly appreciated. I feel a little bit, little bit nervous about using ambush like this. <laughs> but okay. Yeah, not much else I can do here.
Yeah, you can't command pets. Okay, well, here they come. Okay, it's not too bad. I'm more worried about the big one. Okay, yeah. Uh, that looks bad. Hey, the cat attacked. Well, he did a little bit of damage. Yeah, we need to take down the big wolf. So, hold on. Let's switch the weapon. 50%. This is where I could actually use like a melee weapon. Revolver, 66. Alright, please don't miss. Uh, still not a kill. Uh, this removed two action points from everyone. Okay. Let's back up slightly. Can we use our fists? How much damage would that do? Uh, that might do enough damage, but it's not a guarantee. Oh, I would have to move closer. Never mind, let's not do that. 81%. I can only take one shot because, again, I lost two APs. And missed again! What the heck? Okay, she sucks, man. She's supposed to be this badass. And this is the second, basically, point-blank shot she missed. Okay. There we go. Killed one. So... Let's see. Oh, now we can use Torrent Strike. Uh, that might be a little bit dangerous from this angle. Yeah, this is not a safe angle at all. Not one bit. Let's move slightly. Nice one. Uh, he's not dead. Three out of 105 health. Great. How about we, like, punch him? Uh, nope, I can't because I would have to move, like, around the cut. Okay. Well, that leaves us with the last wolf. Which I guess I will not be killing on this turn. Yep, yeah, using the flamethrower from this angle would be a very, very bad idea. Hmm. Well, I can't move, unfortunately. I guess I'll just take that shot. Oh, yeah, not enough AP. Never mind then. Yeah, Torrent Strike is not safe because, like, it will hit my own group members since I don't have friendly fire enabled. Yeah, that didn't do much. That's all I can really do, so let's just defend. Oh, the wolf didn't even hit us. Okay, he hit us once. Go, go, Bella Meow. <laughs> Best team member, Bella Meow. Okay, let's finish this. Who's going to do this? Okay, she didn't miss that one. Done. Okay, good. This better be worth it. A vehicle upgrade, really? Okay, what the heck? Hood ornament. Hey, we got ourselves a fancy hood ornament. That's a bit unexpected. Let's see, anything interesting in here? That's a bit gnarly. Oh, hi. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, we got a good ambush angle. So this was worth it. The Beastmaster, this guy looks nasty. Look at that weapon, that guy definitely looks nasty. Uh, not quite sure what this is. PAL controller? 
Uh, let's crouch down. Uh, yeah, right, there's no like sneaking. So, what can we do here? No idea what any of this will do. We can activate it. Oh, it might blow up the barrel down there. That's a possibility. So, do we just activate it? Yeah, there we go. Nice. <laughs> okay, that was actually pretty good. I like that. We are a little bit out of position, but hey, we got the high ground. It's over Dorsis. We have the high ground. And I have Torrent Strike. So that requires four APs. Okay, this doesn't count as cover over here. This counts as cover. Not sure if I'll have line of sight. It's kind of hard. Yeah, I will have line of sight to this guy. I don't think it's worth wasting that just yet. A regular shot might be better, honestly. Yeah, let's save Torrent Strike for more than one enemy. Oh, you know what I could use? A grenade. But I don't think I have a grenade in anybody's quick slot, actually. So that's not happening right now. Nitro spike? No. So I don't really have a good angle to shoot them with anyone else. I'm slightly too far away. It might be best to just ambush. Move up slightly and then ambush. Marshal Kwon. Okay, let's run up here. This is still cover. And then defend. And I'll try to be careful here. Especially since we don't have too much health on some of our group members. Snapshot. They'll never see it coming and extremely quick. Only costs 1 AP but has minus 60% hit chance. Interesting. Anyway, ambush. If they come into our line of sight, they are going to have a bad time. Alright, let's do it like this. Okay, they are coming up the ramp. That's probably a good thing. We'll make it easier to shoot them. I don't like that Beastmaster guy. He needs to go. Oh, this thing will keep firing, really. I thought it was like a one-time deal, but it will just keep firing. Okay, okay. So this is going to be a piece of cake, thanks to that lens or whatever this is. All right, all right. Anyway, so we do have precision strike. That's just an ambusher. Oh, the lens killed the that big guy, whatever his name was. Beastmaster, right? He's already dead. From the looks of it. What the heck? A miss? Are you kidding me? What's up with the misses? Uh, not quite enough. Almost. There we go. Okay, so one more ambusher up here. I need to be slightly closer. Uh, 
Nice. Are we done? Not yet? Yeah, okay. There's at least one more enemy on the low ground. Good to know. Yeah, let's maybe move into some kind of cover. That would be useful. I could just use precision strike, but that seems like a bit of a waste. Let's not do that. I think that's the last enemy now. Okay, that was amazing. That was like 1000 damage right there. Alright. Let's see what we can get here. Some loot. Yeah, this was the big dude. Right here. He's obviously dead now. Ammunition, junk. Ammunition, injury kit. Uh, second hardest with friendly fire enabled. Chest armor. Okay, vehicle upgrade again. Scout pants with plus 0.2 combat speed. Ammunition for the flamethrower. And some more ammunition. Okay, let's equip the pants on someone. Maybe on Fox, that's what I'm thinking. He doesn't have pants. Here you go. And we got chest armor. Yeah, that's minus one action points. No, that's for the failed requirement. I could still equip it, but if I equip it without having free strength, I would take minus one action point penalty. Right. So, I could also equip these two, but again, if I don't meet the requirement, I will take the penalty. So, uh, somebody here should have enough strength. This one only requires three, so not really a big deal. Yeah, Marshal Quan has enough. Here you go. So, let's take a look around. We got an armor crate. Yep, even more armor. Nice one. I will definitely take that. I think that's it. A boss box. And a trap. Requires explosives free. Okay, I don't have that much. It's not like I have to go that way, though. That's a lot of bodies. Okay, here are the people we're looking for, but hold on. There's a medical crate and a cyborg chicken. And the grenade box. Clock, clock. Not enough animal whisper. It's not trapped, is it? Nope. Molotov cocktail. All right, we are almost done with this area. Uh, let's do a quick save. Okay, so this will be a big decision. This was the end of the beta, basically. So, some of you have seen this on my channel, like a few months ago. On behalf of all of us here, I want to offer our unconditional surrender. As proof of our goodwill, I want to tell you that the culprits got into town with help from Farron Brigo's organization, and... and... Isaac, how could you? How could you throw in with these people? How could you let them take my family? Where are my parents and my little brother? They're in the grave you passed on the way here. They didn't suffer, Lucia. I promise. Baby, look. I didn't mean it to go this way. 
I tried to stop them. I, I really did. I begged. Stop talking right now. Wait a minute. Your kids were helping the Dorseys. We, we thought we were in the right. The Dorseys promised that we could take down the Patriarch. They didn't say anything about murdering hostages. What about all the other people they killed? Or was that part okay with you, Isaac? Just tell us how those people won't have dead. You piece of shit. You helped them kill Lucia's family and you want our forgiveness? Not forgiveness. We want to face justice. We know what we did is wrong, but... It was Melius Dorsey. He went looking for your family, Lucia. Your family especially. That's why I got you out of your house before the raid. I didn't want anything to happen to you. You didn't want anything to happen <laughs> to me? So you let savages abduct and murder my family. You knew what they meant to me. You knew what their loss would do to me. But you're still alive, Lucia. Don't you see? You're still alive, and that's what matters most to me. Yeah, I don't think that's helping your case, dude. Where's Nilius Dorsey now? He escaped. He took some vehicles and headed west into the mountains. I don't think he was planning to come back. Why did you do it? Why betray your community? Were they acting alone? Did they have support from anyone else? Baron Brigo's gang helped them get into town. I don't know how or why. And I overheard Nelius say something about Liberty Buchanan, the Patriarch's daughter. I think... I think she's going to attack Colorado Springs. It sounded like she's gathering an army out in the plains. Something way worse than the Dorseys. We've been under the Patriarch's boot for 50 years. We say that the hundred families are in charge, but it's really just his family. Just him. I know you must think I'm a fuzzy-headed idealist, but this society's sick. It needs to change. I have heard enough. If your betrayal of my family was not sufficient, your treachery here most certainly is. In the name of the Patriarch, I sentence you. Please, Lucia. I did this for you. All I ever meant was to help build a better world for you. For all of us. I can't tell you how much I regret. Please don't kill me. Please. Okay, so now we can decide to either let her shoot him or not. So, it might be a good idea to not get like on everyone's bad side right away. Piss off everyone. I did let her shoot him in the beta, but that was obviously the end of it. But we are going to need some friends, some people on our side, so let's not just like shoot him on the spot. A better way? I can't think of one. Not after what he did to my family. You want to let him walk away from what he's done? We're going to put him under arrest. We'll make sure justice is served. I have justice right here. In the palm of my hand. I am more than happy to meet it out. I would be delighted to be its instrument. Yeah, well, you're not the judge and the jury and the executioner. You're not the law around here, Lucia. You're not even deputized. This is our job, and we say he's under arrest. Don't fake us yet, bro. Come in November 1. This is Ranger HQ. We're getting reports of shooting in your last known location at Garden of the Gods. What's your status? Over. We took care of the Dorseys and we arrested several rebels. Sent a team to pick them up as soon as possible. Copy that, November 1. Dispatching an arrest team now. Good job getting those sons of bitches. Over and out.
All right then, so let's loot everything we can find around here. Okay, flamethrower, some ammunition, some junk. I assume there are no traps here. <laughs> uh, that would be a bit weird. Some medical equipment. Okay, some more junk. And yep, looks like that's it. Is there like a shortcut to get out of here? Nope. Okay, well, I guess this is going to be the perfect moment to end. Yeah, there's nothing at the camp. Yeah, that, but that's going to be the end of this episode. We'll continue in the next one. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did or a dislike if you didn't. And subscribe for more daily videos. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.